I was invited to Abiq, New Mexico, to visit with two people who have dedicated the last 25 years of their lives helping people improve their relationships. They offered so much insight and wisdom in this exploration. Back in the 18th century, I married you and it was a personal thing and you were there to meet my needs. And I could make a judgment and up until the 1950s, when the divorce rate began to assume, I could make a judgment about that. You're meeting my needs. And then something happened in the 50s. We're not, there are a lot of theories about what happened in the 50s. But what we do know happened was the divorce rate went up to 50% and it stayed there for 60 years, going up and down over 48, 54, and so forth. Something shifted. And what we think shifted is that this, the, let's put it this way, the out of the collective unconscious emerged a new energy, and it was the energy of connection and relationship. So a new marriage is coming into being out of that, and Helen and I are calling it the partnership marriage, the conscious partnership marriage, in which the purpose of marriage will still be healing and wholeness, but the modality of healing and wholeness will be the focus on the relationship and its care rather than on the individuals. We think that uh, men equally to women are longing to be in relationship and are so lonely and women too. And so and I, we see the amount of psychological energy that they have in common and the patterns that they fall into that they have in common. So we don't look at it as a gendered phenomenon. But it's like at some point something happens in her mind and something happens in mine. We call it a transformation of consciousness in which we become a couple. And, and it's a whole new reality. And there's no longer any, I mean, I wouldn't dare hurt her. I mean, it's, sometimes I do. I get a rough tone of voice sometimes when I'm irritated, but, but we're partners, you know? And consequently, there's no struggle anymore because our partnership is what we both honor. And you have to get to there through the long and tedious process of becoming the advocate of each other, becoming the surrogate parent for each other, becoming the healer of each other. And that that can actually happen and you can then move into a marriage that you could not. In. It, we used to call it the marriage of your dreams. We couldn't dream this marriage. This is beyond the dream. It has qualities and feelings to it that are, that we're still looking to find language.